We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We are here to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love and to give blessings to the words that will unite Emily and Matthew in marriage. Thank you, Lord, for this newly married couple. We thank you, O oh God, for the love you have implanted in the hearts of Matt and Emily. May it always inspire them to be kind in their words, considerate of feelings, and concerned for each other's needs and wishes. Help them to be understanding and forgiving of human weakness and failings. Increase their faith and trust in you, and may your prudence guide their life and love. Bless this marriage, O oh God, with peace and happiness and make their love fruitful for your glory and their joy, both here and in eternity. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Growing up with Emily, I learned a lot about her and a lot from her. To describe her wonderful attributes, I decided to turn her name into an acronym. The first letter E is for educated. If you don't know, Matt and Emily both went to Bemidji State, also known as the Harvard of the North. Sir. One thing I find strange about that is for someone as smart as Emily, she did once have to ask, is Cinco de Mayo always on a Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> on a more serious note, Emily is one of the smartest people that I know. Over the years, I have seen her make smart decision after smart decision, even if it wasn't always the easiest decision. I think one of her best decisions she's made is finding someone like Matt to share the rest of her life with. Matt and I have been together since about 2006, and I'm happy to be here as his best man. As I was thinking about what I wanted to say, for some reason one story kept coming to my mind in particular. And this story brings us back to our childhood when we were first getting to know each other. And Emily, since I can't focus on all the trouble you brought as a child, I'm going to focus on Matt for a little bit first. <laughs> Matt's childhood home was in between the Peters family and the Dicks family. And I mean that literally. Matt and I had procured a three-man water balloon launching device so naturally, it didn't take us long to figure out that this thing could be trouble. The real fun, though, began when that evening Sue went to bed and Matt had the bright idea to sneak out and to start our onslaught of balloons on everything we could find around Pickerel Lake. It was at that point where I really could tell that Matt's impact on me and those around him was going to be profound. <laughs> However, the real thrill came the following morning when we heard a knock on Sue's door. Who was there? None other than Mr. Peter himself. And holding a bunch of handful of exploded water balloons, Sue had to explain to him that we were sorry and that we wouldn't do it again. <laughs> but all that to say, this really shows a theme that persists in Matt's life. And that's that he's always ready to have a good time, even at the cost of a little trouble. Matt has always had two main love interests, the Minnesota Vikings and golf. Well, I'd heard that Matt found a lucky person, I had yet to meet her. As I got to talk more with Matt about her and learn a little bit more about her, I had a conversation with him where two things stick out. The first is he said she's really smart and probably even smarter than I am. And I said, well, you don't need to rub it in. But more importantly, he said she's really good at golf and better than he was. I thought, this must be fate. And to this day, I think it's the only time Matt has ever admitted that his golf game fell short of someone else's. <laughs> As I got to know Emily, I began to realize when Matt was becoming someone I had never known. The next letter of her name, M, is for motivated. Emily can do anything she sets her mind to and doesn't settle for mediocre. I is for inspiring. Growing up with Emily, I could not have asked for a better role model in my life. She sets challenging goals for herself and strives towards greatness. She is caring, helpful, funny, kind, and overall, the person I want to be when I grow up. L is for loving. 
she is someone who gives her whole heart, whether that is to Matt, her friends, or her family, she gives 100%. And lastly, we have Y. I think this is probably the most important letter in the entire acronym, and that is that you are yourself. There is no one out there who is as kind, loving, inspiring, motivating, but most importantly, you than yourself. So remember, Emily, you are educated, motivated, inspiring, loving, and most importantly, you are you. I could not have asked for a better older sister. I love you and I am so happy for you. I can't wait to see what your future holds because I know, no doubt in my mind, it will be anything less than extraordinary. She was and remains kind, driven, understanding, and most importantly when dating someone like Matt or me, forgiving. And over the last few years, it's clear that Emily's love reigns over those other two. Emily, I couldn't be happier that Matt found you and got you here today. Your impact is tangible. As is often said, but it's really the case that this relationship, the sum of the whole is greater than its parts. And to that, I raise a toast to Matt and Emily, that they never forget the impact they've had on one another and love each other every day of their lives. I am so happy that you are officially part of the family. I think you and Emily make such a perfect pair. And I am so proud to have you as my brother-in-law. So welcome to the family. I'm so happy for you both. I am going to take you, Matthew, to be my husband. I'm going to take you, Emily, to be my wife. Yeah. And stay forward. You're better for worse. For me, for poor. Love and care. Help that us. You have come here together and agreed to be married. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Panson. You may share your first kiss. with you